I made an anime website, and this is how I did it. Now a lot of you don't know this, but I am a huge anime fan, and I used to always watch anime as a kid, so I decided why not make my own anime website where everyone can watch anime as well, and I actually did it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to make my own anime website from scratch. Nah. <laughs> hey, I knew it! I knew it, bro! I knew it, bro! Now, every single anime website has a name. So, I had to decide which anime name am I going to use for my website. So, I kind of decided to use Luffy, but... I revamped it a little bit. I changed it from Luffy to Lofi. So like it's L-O-O-F-F-Y-Y. -Y. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, now that we have the name and the branding done, let's get into the technical part. Now building this web application required a lot of technologies. I needed to use technologies like React, TypeScript, I also needed to use an NPM package known as Axios to make RESTful API requests. Now obviously we can't forget about the big boy jQuery. Without jQuery, the web won't be the web today. And finally, we cannot forget Cheerios, the best cereal in the world. Cheerios, please sponsor me. Now I'm sure most of you are already familiar with React. Now essentially what I'm doing here is that I have a JavaScript function that is returning HTML. This is actually known as JSX. And the way React works is that you create reusable components. So you basically have a JavaScript function that's returning some part of your UI. So the reason why you notice I had so many React files in my folder, or JavaScript or JSX files rather, is because those are just functions that are returning some part of my UI. Now you might be sitting there wondering, okay, you were able to make the UI, but how did you make the anime website work? Now this is the painful part. Making the anime website actually work required a lot of brain cells. But at the end of the day, it all just came down to web scraping. Now I know you might be sitting there wondering what the junk is web scraping. Essentially what I'm doing is that I'm visiting a website and I'm stealing the iframe of the video player. And this is the code that I used to be able to implement this functionality into the application. So essentially how this website is working is that I'm going to a website known as Anitako. I am then using a tool known as Cherios to return the HTML, so the iframe, and then I'm then placing the iframe into my application. If you want access to the application and the source code, please remember to join the Discord and you can add me and I'll send the code to you. I'm giving all this information out for free because I want you guys to be able to build cool applications. So please remember to like and subscribe. Another thing, Please, if you're using this tactic I used, do not release a website because it is illegal. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day.